When using a normal mask in public places, it's hard to know where to put it when you're eating or blowing your nose. Where do I put this? This design fixes both of those problems and more. Introducing mask lanyards. You can clip the ends onto your mask and wear it as a necklace. This way, you always have a place for your mask. Hey guys, my name is Allie from Technicali Speaking, and today I'm teaming up with Tinkercad to bring teachers a great new introductory 3D design project for the upcoming school year. I called up my friends at Tinkercad to help out with this project. Tinkercad is a free online design software that is already used in many classrooms. It's awesome because it has super cool tutorials, free online designs, and is super easy for beginners and experts to use. Now this is the cool part. My friends at Tinkercad have decided to make this project even easier and more accessible by adding our design to their library. You can find it by scrolling down to the bottom of the connectors menu. It is also listed as a public design, which anyone can view or copy. printing this file, then it's time to assemble your lanyard. To start off, once you finish your print, you're going to want about 11 inches of paracord, or enough so that it's just long enough to hang around your neck like a lanyard, but not too long that it'll swing around and whack stuff if you're moving very quickly. So for this next step, you're going to need a lighter and a candle, and you might want to have an adult on hand for this one, because it's about to get lit. You're going to want to melt a little bit of the paracord that you cut off before, just so that it will actually go through the hole on your hook. Once it's cooled off, you can just thread it through here, and then you can use your fingers or a pliers to pull it through, and then you melt it the rest of the way. Keep it away from your fingers so you don't burn them. And then once it's cooled off, you should have a nice little hook on the end of your paracord that isn't going anywhere. Once you have both hooks on your ends of your paracord, then you can attach the hooks to your mask like this. And you attach them by the elastic that normally goes around your ears on the mask. And then once it's attached, you can just put it over your head. You can uh, wear it like a necklace, like this, like a lanyard. Or you can put it on and save it for later, and then it'll still hold your mask in place when you take it off. So. Win-win. You can also level up your lanyard design by adding an adjustable piece that turns it into an ear saver. So the paracord moves freely through the two holes in this design, but it can also lock when you move the paracord to the outside so that it stays the same size and length the entire time. But I'm not just gonna give out this part of the design. This is where your classroom's design challenge comes in. I challenge you to use Tinkercad's 3D design software to turn your lanyards into an adjustable ear saver. One thing to keep in mind is that not all sizes of paracord are the same diameter, so you want to keep this in mind when making your holes in your design. One great tool to have in your classroom to help with measuring the diameter of your paracord is a caliper. You can use it to measure the diameter of your cord normally and the measure of how much it squishes so you know how to make the locking diameter on your design and the normal sliding diameter. I want to thank Tinkercad for making all of this possible, and I want to thank you guys for participating in the challenge. So be sure to have fun and happy making. Hey, want to know the difference between a paracord and an apple cord? An apple cord costs $90. <laughs>